adrenal fatigue actually does not exist. There is no medical entity called adrenal fatigue. And with the exception of a few very rare medical conditions, the adrenals don't actually get tired out. So it's a complete misnomer. But what we say when we're talking about adrenal fatigue is that feeling of being burnt out, kind of feeling crispy. Um, a lot of folks are struggling with anxiety, depression, and symptoms that we lump into adrenal fatigue. So let me tell you what's really happening, and it's kind of cool. So our bodies are these amazing kind of like organisms of innate wisdom. And cortisol is a hormone that gets produced by the adrenals, the adrenal glands, and adrenaline is a chemical, it's called a neurotransmitter, that also gets produced by adrenals. Now, in the medical world, we call cortisol the wear and tear hormone. A little bit of cortisol is a great thing. It keeps us alive, it protects us from inflammation, it helps fight infection. A little bit of adrenaline is a great thing. It keeps us motivated, stimulated, excited. It's like that, yes, I've got drive. I'm gonna get on a ro roller coaster. This is all great. I'm about to open a package, so exciting. But when we get too much adrenaline, we actually get anxious and we get what's called hypervigilant and we start getting really stressed out. So back to that thing about our bodies having innate wisdom. Our, our brain says, we can't let this runaway train of cortisol and adrenaline keep getting produced by the adrenals, so we have to do something. So the brain actually sends chemical messages to the adrenals to stop producing so much cortisol and so much adrenaline. That's what people call adrenal fatigue. It's not the adrenals pooping out. It's the brain saying, we can't go on like this. This is gonna be havoc down the road. And so the brain says, don't produce as much cortisol and don't produce as much adrenaline. So for a minute, that can be good if you've been overproducing. But if now the brain keeps sending out that message and you start underproducing cortisol and underproducing adrenaline, it's almost like you get the opposite. So with the underproduced adrenaline, you can feel depressed, you can feel lethargic, you can feel unmotivated. You're like, I really do want to do that yoga practice and you know in your mind you want to but you just keep hitting the snooze button on your alarm because you just don't have that drive it's gone it's really hard to get excited about life and it's it can be really depressing actually if you're not producing enough cortisol then all of a sudden all that protection against inflammation for example or all that protection that your immune system gets goes away and so you can start to get a lot more infections. You can even get autoimmune diseases. So there can be havoc with too much cortisol and too much adrenaline and too little and adrenal fatigue is kind of this catch-all made up term that we use to describe it. <music>